Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, it's time for a real world test on the EcoFlow Smart Home Panel and the Delta Pro setup. Now, my goal is I want to see how many hours or how many days I can actually get out of my 14.4 kilowatt setup. How long will it last? Now, as you can see, I've got two Delta Pros, and those are 3,600 watts each. And the batteries in them are 3,600 watt hours. Now I also have two extra batteries. And those are 3,600 watt hours for a total of 14.4 kilowatts. Now, my smart home panel powers the majority of my home except for my heating system and my washing machine. And while I'm doing this test, I'm going to provide you with a ton of information on the Delta Pro and ways you can set it up with the smart home panel all the way to 25 kilowatts. I'll cover costs, I'll cover ways to charge, I'll cover specs, and some additional information on the smart home panel. And as a bonus, I'm actually going to cover other expandable options. I'm going to go over the Delta Max expandable system, and I'm going to go over the new Delta 2 expandable system. So, I hope you stay with me throughout this journey. I'm not sure how long this video will be, but I hope it's informative. So, let's get this party started. Okay, I'm going to leave this on the screen. You can hit pause if you'd like. I just wanted to provide some home information to be helpful. All right, but hit pause if you want to review this. Okay, so this is what we're covering in the video. And keep in mind, this video is mostly about the real world testing we're going to be doing with our smart home panel and our Delta Pro setup, 14.4 uh, kilowatts. But in between, we're going to go ahead and provide you some helpful information. So if you look at number two, we're going to actually show you options with the smart home panel. So you can go anywhere from 3.6 kilowatts all the way to 25 kilowatts. We're going to show you those packages. We're going to show you what's included. We're going to show you some MSRP costs. And we're also going to give you some helpful education on the smart home panel just a little bit. All right. And if you look at number three, we're going to go ahead and give you some lower cost options, right? If you live in an apartment, a cabin, you know, van life, whatever, uh, we're going to go over the Delta Max and the Delta 2. These don't require an installation of a smart home panel. And they're expandable, which is great. So these systems start at 1,000 and up. All right, let's take a look at the timestamps real quick. I'm not going to review these, but as you can see on the screen, I put some timestamps here. Now, keep in mind, this is in between the video. All right, so if you watch the whole video, you'll get all the information on the smart home panel in our real world testing. But I did put a couple of timestamps, you know, for some of this other information I'm providing. All right, let's move forward. All right, guys, so I am in the backyard with Brooklyn as she eats leaves and grass. And what I'm doing is I am actually just finishing up charging solar. Now, these are two 400-watt panels. I am charging the two Delta Pros and the two extra batteries for this test. All right, so why don't we go downstairs and take a look and go over what we have and give you some helpful information and then see how many days we can actually go powering the majority of our home with this set of Delta Pros. Now we wanted to show you before we went down how we have our solar coming into the basement because we've got the Delta Pros in the basement. So we actually had a hole drilled through this uh, area here and PVC pipe. And uh, what we do when we're not charging is we disconnect these and we simply close this thing up which is kind of cool. But let's go downstairs and let's take a look at what we got set up. All right, so let's go over our setup. We've got two Delta Pros and two extra batteries. The Delta Pros are rated at 3,600 watts and they can surge to 7,200 watts. They are amazing. Now, in each Delta Pro, you've got a 3,600 watt hour battery and the same in the extra batteries, 3,600 and 3,600. So we have 
14.4 kilowatts or 14,400 watt hours, right? Now, these are connected to our smart home panel, which is powering 10 of our home circuits, which is the majority, by the way. And these cables coming down are called infinity cables, and they basically come down and they connect to the side of the Delta Pro. And the same thing with the other one, right? It comes down and it connects to the side of that Delta Pro. So we've got two. Now, the batteries are connected in the back of the Delta Pro. And in the Delta Pro, you can actually have two batteries on one and two batteries on another. Or you can have one battery and one smart generator and one battery and one smart generator. And listen, later on, we're going to go over some really helpful information so you can understand how expandable this system is. So now let's talk about solar for a minute. Well, not really. I just wanted to show you outside. I was showing you how the solar cables were coming in. So we have them coming in here and we can recharge these with solar, which is really awesome. Now, let me tell you, normally when you're running the smart home panel and this kind of setup, you, you know, they basically want everything on. OK, and the reason why they want both sets on is Let's say you're running a microwave and a coffee maker, and you're running like 3,000 watts. Well, anything over 1,800 watts is going to get split between each of the Delta Pros, all right? So it's pretty cool. It actually splits the workload. Now, in my test in the next couple of days, I'm going to use the microwave. I'm going to use the coffee maker, but I'm not going to use them at the same time. So the reason why I turn off this set and I leave this set on is... The one thing I don't like is if you're not using heavy loads, while this set is being used for, let's say, a day or a day and a half, this set sits on and it does nothing and it naturally drains. And I lose 5%, maybe 7% of the capacity because just on, but it's not being used. So that's the reason why I turn off that set. Okay. I just want to give you as much information as possible. Let's go ahead and start the test. We've got 14.4 kilowatts, right? How many days will this last? Now, what you need to do after you're, of course, connected, right? We're connected to both sets of Delta Pros and the extra batteries, is we're going to go on to the panel here, and we're going to just turn on the one on the right. I'm not going to turn on both. Now, the reason why is the setup I have is called single phase, I believe it's called, single phase. So I can't support 240 volt appliances because I didn't set up split phase. All right. And that's OK. I don't really want that. Some people might want that when they set up the smart home panel. All right. So now that we have that turned on, we're going to now use this set of batteries for the next couple of days. The bottom line is how long will these last? How many days? Um, so give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and go in the app and show you how to set up the automation. Okay, I got the app open. I'm going to click on the smart home panel. I'm going to now hit the, you know, the gear, not the gear, but the uh, settings here. All right. When you go into the settings, you can now set up automations. So I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to go in and put in a start date. So we're going to say today. And now we want to select an end date. And we're going to make that the 28th for now. We're just going to set the 28th. Confirm. Now we've got the date set there. Now we want to set the time. And the trick to making this run all the time is just do 00, zero to 00, zero. And what will happen is it'll set it up to 24 hours. Okay. The next thing you got to do is you have to hit all to select all of the items that you want to power. I've got washing machine, I got refrigerator. I'll go over some stuff with you on this, but now watch this. When I hit save, it is now going to go ahead and power the majority of my home. And the time is two o'clock. So let's remember that two o'clock on Saturday. Let's hit save and you're going to hear the click. And actually, let me come close. Okay. And there you go. And now you'll see here that the power that I'm using currently, right? And what's happening is the battery is outputting wattage to charge the Delta Pro. 
all right so we have about 300 watts going out to the home right now we're not using much we've got lights we've got some tvs when the refrigerator kicks in that's going to go up a lot of things are going to happen so again two o'clock on saturday and so far we're using one set and then we'll use the other set how many days so now i'm in the app i just go i just started the automation right so you'll notice no power is coming from the grid now power is coming from the set of delta pro and it's basically being outputted into the home so it's not a bad interface now if, i think if i click this you'll actually get to see what's using what in the house right the bedroom's using 22 watts the basement's using 21 right i've got the washing machine room using 29 so no major usage i mean the home internet and the tv upstairs is using 132 and my refrigerator is currently using 40 watts so not bad you know it's nice to be able to see this and you really learn about what your home is actually using another thing you have is a dashboard i'll be honest with you it's really kind of odd the dates aren't always correct but if you hit this here this little chart here on the top you click on that you'll you'll come into a, a dashboard now you want to hit battery to see usage and what's funny is if i go to the week you'll actually see it'll say friday but today's saturday you know um we didn't really use this you know uh Actually, I think we, we charged it, so that's probably why that's showing there. But output, 300 watts, estimated time based off the load is 17 hours, you know, 19 hours. So that'll go up and down. We'll take a look at this as well, all right? Well, we'll come up with, you know, how long it lasts. Bottom line, both sets of Delta Pros and the batteries. So I'm going to take a moment and go over the Delta Pro specifications all right, I won't cover everything. There are two pages. You can hit pause if you'd like, and then we're going to continue to do our testing. So the wattage that the Delta Pro can support is 3,600 watts with surges up to 7,200. Now the battery capacity is 3,600 watt hours, so it's got a real nice big battery. All right, expansion I'm going to cover later in the video. It does have Wi-Fi. It does have Bluetooth. You definitely have the app, as I showed you in this video, and I will show you going forward. It will support firmware updates, which is nice. The Delta Pro is heavy at 99 pounds. And guess what? You can actually charge the Delta Pro with an EV adapter, and I'll show you that in a little while. Now, one of the reasons why the Delta Pro is one of the favorites is because of the battery type. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery. And what happens is that battery has many, many more charge cycles. As you can see here, 3,500 to 80%, and then 6,500 to 50%. This thing is going to last for years. And that's why it's great for a home backup solution. You do have faster charging options with the uh, smart home panel. We'll show you a little bit of that a little later on. I'm not gonna cover the ports and you do get a two year warranty with the Delta Pro. Okay, we are about eight hours in. It's almost 10 p.m. as you can see here. We have, and if you just look at the Delta Pro, we have about 400 watts going out. And then the battery is actually sending about 200 and change into the units here, okay? We are winding down. You know, we use the microwave, you know, obviously the refrigerator, the lights, you know. So let's see on the app what we're looking at here. So let's start off again with the Delta Pro. When You know, what's nice is uh, just give it a second to connect. And again, you can see the same thing remotely, right? So output about 400 watts right now. We've got two TVs on. We've got lights on, you know, a lot of, you know. So you could see the input from the battery right there. Again, I can actually scroll down, click on the battery. You'll see, you know, your battery is 60% temperature of the battery. And of course, how much it's outputting. So that's what, what it looks like from the Delta Pro. If we go into the smart home panel and, uh, you know, we click on our report now. Because again, nothing's coming from the grid. Right now, everything is coming from the Delta Pro. 
So if we hit the report here, again, you know, battery, um, you know, it says we're using about 2.29 kilowatts so far, and then it shows you kind of what's going on on an hourly basis. So let me also show you, if, again, if you click in the middle, it'll actually show us, again, the wattage being used in the different rooms. Nothing major here. Um, again, TV, internet, about 131 watts. Refrigerators using about 51 watts right now. Uh, kitchen, 20 watts. Basement, we have a refrigerator down there. Living rooms, not using too much right now. But again, that's connected to the home internet as well down on the other switch. So, you know, definitely nice to look at your circuits. And you name these. You set these up with the smart home panel. But uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. When you think about how you can charge the Delta Pro, obviously you can charge it with the smart home panel, and we'll show you that later on in the video. But you can use solar, like I showed you early in the video, right? We used uh, two 400-watt panels. And what's even nice is you can also use a smart generator. Now, this generator is a gas generator, or they make a gas and propane, which they call a dual fuel. So it's really nice that you have other options for charging. Now, let me go to the next screen, and I want to show you that EV adapter. Now, here's the thing, right? You would have to bring the Delta Pro to an EV charging station. It's 100 pounds, folks. But if you buy this adapter... Um, this will work in certain charging stations, and it actually, you know, could charge, I believe, up to 3,000 watts, uh, depending on the charge station that you go to. Uh, this adapter, I believe, is around, I don't I think it's about $99. I could be wrong. I'm going to definitely put links in the description. All right, I want to cover some important information on the smart home panel if you're thinking of getting it. So let me go to the next slide. So... When you get the smart home panel installed, you're going to have two options. One is going to be single phase, which will support 120 volt here in the USA, right? 3,600 watt. Or if you see that arrow pointing to that connector there, well, when you install the smart home panel, if you get that connector removed, you can then set this up to support 240 volt. And, and what will happen is it'll support your 120 volt appliances as well as your 240 volt appliances. You're going to definitely need to have two Delta Pros. You can't go with one, but you can get up to 7,200 watts. So, you know, just wanted to mention this because this is kind of important when you buy it and get it set up. All right, good morning. We are uh, 17 hours and 36 minutes in. And uh, I still have some capacity on these two, but for some reason it switched over. So I'll probably have to use that later on. Um, and the, so we are here at this point now. Uh, these are practically fully charged. We're using about 190 watts this morning so far. Now when we make a cup of coffee, we're going to go ahead and take a peek at that so you can see the wattage being used. Okay, but 17 hours and 36 minutes in. Okay, we are going to make a cup of coffee. And it's always interesting to see how much wattage a coffee maker uses. So we're going to just kind of get that ready so we can look at that. All right, coffee maker's ready. We're going to hit uh, 8, and uh, they're going to hit K button here and there we go it's 200 still but give it a second 1500 watts look at that now that's obviously with the wattage of the house 1600 and change so look at that from 200 watts all the way to almost you know a little over 1600 um, and then at the end of the coffee it'll actually go down a lot but it's just something that a lot of people aren't aware of that if you have a Keurig, specifically a Keurig and, and different types of Keurigs, they can use 750 watts. They can use, as you saw, you know, this unit uses about 1400 watts. So, all right, still using a lot, and then it'll go down 
towards the end of the coffee. And don't look at my butterfinger because that's mine. Okay. It'll drop now. It should drop. There it goes. See that? So at the end of the coffee cycle. And there we go. We now have a cup of coffee at about 7.40 in the morning. Yes, we do. Now I just need some creamer in there. Good morning to you. Day two here, 24 hours into the test. It's 2 o'clock. Today is Sunday. Of course, this set is off, and we're not using it right now. We've got a little bit of battery left on this set. Uh, this set's being used currently. Let's see what we got. We have 60% uh, on the Delta Pro, sending uh, almost 400 watts to the home to power the home, receiving 200 and change from the battery. That's what the battery does. The battery charges the Delta Pro in this scenario. And how much power have we used in the last two days? And uh, it says here uh, 5.37 kilowatts. All right, so that's uh, what, 5,300 uh, watt hours. Okay, so we'll keep going. Can we get two days? Not sure. And one thing to keep in mind too, right, when these machines are running, um, you know, ultimately there's a power consumption to run them. So, you know, am I going to get all 14.4 kilowatts? Probably not. But something to keep in mind. Let's see what happens. Now, let's talk about smart home expansion scenarios, right? Let's start off with number one. So, let's say you want to start off small. You want to get the smart home panel. You want to get the Delta Pro. But you're also going to need to get this cable. So, don't forget it because it doesn't come with the smart home panel. You're going to need an infinity cable that's $109. Now, I could be wrong. They could be selling the smart home panel with a cable. But double check that because you're going to need that cable to connect the Delta Pro to. But as you can see here, you're looking at $5,407. Now, I'll put links in the description, but this is expansion scenario number one. Let's go ahead and talk about expansion scenario number two. Now, this will give you 7.2 kilowatts. Now, you're going to need two Delta Pros, your smart home panel, and two Infinity Cables, and that would be $9,215. Scenario number three at 14.4 kilowatts. Now, this is what we're using, right? So this is what you're seeing in our test. Now, you've got two Delta Pros. You've got two Delta Pro batteries with smart home panel and two infinity cables for $14,813. Expansion scenario number four. Now, this will give you 21.6 kilowatts. You'll have two Delta Pros. You'll have four batteries, one smart home panel, and two infinity cables. That'll run you $20,411. Now, last but not least, right, this is the max 25 kilowatts for expansion scenario number five. And in this situation, you really got two Delta Pros, two Delta Pro batteries, and then you've got two smart generators now these are dual fuel generators you can actually use propane or gas two infinity cables and you're looking at 18,011 now the smart generator does cost less than a delta pro battery so that's the reason why the price actually went down a little bit okay a few minutes before eight o'clock we're coming on to 30 hours now and um one thing I want to tell you is I really am not in love with the app. If you look at the total power discharged, that number should be a lot higher. As you can see, it still shows Saturday and Sunday, but this thing kind of reset itself. It did something weird, and so that is really not accurate, and it just disappoints me, but it is what it is. You know, I'll tell you at the end of the day, it is really nice to have a smart home panel. Now, if we look at the Delta that's being used right now, we've got 24%, and we're powering about 400 watts in the home and receiving two and change from the battery, right? 
Now this other set is on. Now I turned it on because when I go to sleep, what's going to happen is when this set dies, it's going to automatically switch over to this set. And this set's got 28% on the delta and 32 on the battery. All right, so the smart home panel will do that switch while I'm sleeping. Okay, but uh, so far so good. Look, uh, are we going three days? No, no. But let's see where we land. I don't know if we'll hit, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on, you know, Monday, which would really be two days. Again, definitely like having the smart home panel. Uh, I have the ability, as I said earlier, to add another battery to each of these. I can add the smart generator if I want as well. So pretty cool stuff. All right, so I hope you're enjoying the testing. And let's go into Delta Max expansion scenario. So here is another option. If you don't want to go with the Delta Pro, you can go with the Delta Max. And let's go to the next screen here. And you've got, you know, three options, right? You can buy the Delta Max 2000 or the Delta Max 1600. Now, the Delta Max 2000 supports 2400 watts. And the battery is 2016 watt hours. The Delta Max 1600 is 2000 watts, and it's a 1612 watt hour battery, as you can see there on option number one. And the pricing is in the right hand corner. Option two, you can go out and get yourself the uh, Delta Max with the extra battery. All right. And that'll be 4032 watt hours. Or you can get the Delta Max 1600 with an extra battery, which would be 3.6 kilowatts. And there's the price. And there's the bottom. Look at that. So if you want, you can actually connect two batteries to any one of these two units. Now, the Delta Max 2000 with two batteries is 6,048 watt hours or 6 kilowatts. And that would run you $5,297. A nice option, right? But look up top real quick. You'll see that lithium NCM batteries have 800 cycles. And then they go to 80% plus. That is a big difference between the Delta Pro and the Delta Max, right? The Max doesn't have lithium iron phosphate. Now, also keep in mind, these smart generators are compatible with the Delta Max series. All right, so you can get the gas model for $13.99 or the dual fuel with gas and propane for $15.99. Okay, so the fan on the smart home panel just kicked in, and that'll do that from time to time. I want to show you, if you want to know, how do I go ahead and stop this, right? Let's just say you're running your smart home panel and you go, you know what, I need to stop this for whatever reason. So you've got a couple of things you can do. You can go into the automation. So if I go to the smart home panel and I go over here to these, this section here, I can actually hit the power button and it'll automatically stop the automation I'm running. Now another thing you can do is you can actually hit the pause button here as you could see. So this pause button will pause power being used from the power stations and it'll go back to grid. All right. So that's two ways you can really stop your automation from running and go back to grid power. All right. Good morning. It is Monday about 7 a.m. which means we're about 41 hours into the test here. All right. Two o'clock today would be two days 48 hours now this set is depleted all right so that's at zero and then this has got one percent so it's not going to use these anymore and this set we got 19 percent left here on the delta and 23 percent on the battery now this says that we've got about four hours left Again, that'll change, right? Because every time you put a load on that, it adjusts. Right now, we're outputting 200 and something watts, right? If we look at the delta, we're uh, powering the house at 240 something watts. Okay, so 41 hours in, we'll see again what the final time will be, guys. All right, let's talk about Delta 2. 
Now, this is a new power station that just came out recently, and it is expandable. So let's move to the next slide, and there you go. You can only add one battery, but what's the difference here between this system and the one that we previously showed you, right? So the Delta Max, right, has a lithium NCM battery. Well, the Delta II actually has a lithium iron phosphate battery. So you're talking about 3,000 life cycles. And if you just buy the Delta II, it's about $1,000. The expansion battery sells for $800 and the cables included. So if you buy the Delta II and the battery, you're looking at about $1,798. But don't forget, these batteries will last you a long time. Now, keep in mind, the Delta II is an 1,800-watt power station also. So when you look at the Delta Max, you saw a little while ago, you know, that can go up to 2,400 watts. So one thing they did with the Delta II was they made it compatible with the Delta Max batteries. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, a Delta II is 1,024 watt hours. And if you buy the Delta II battery, it's 1,024 watt hours. Well, what if you wanted a bigger battery? Or what if you already own the Delta Max? Well, guess what? You can connect the Delta Max battery, which is 2,016 watt hours, to a Delta II, which is really nice. So if you bought a Delta II for $1,000 and you bought a Delta Max battery for $1,599, you'd be about $2,598 with this setup. And guess what? The smart generator is compatible with the Delta II. So you can buy the gas model or the dual fuel gas and propane model. All right, it's almost nine o'clock. We are 43 hours into the test. And um, what are we using here? So we've got uh, almost 300 watts going to the house. The battery is uh, sending 176 watts. So the battery is 14% and the Delta is 9% charged. And so based off the usage right now, it is saying we have about two hours left. All right, about two hours left in the test. Again, that's going to fluctuate, right? Depending on what we use in the house, TVs, coffee makers, it, it will adjust that. But 43 hours in, not bad so far. Now, one thing we don't like wasting is sun. Right now, we are recharging the other Delta Pros that were dead. We're getting about 417 watts. We don't really have full sun yet. But again, as we showed you earlier, we've got these two 400 watt panels by EcoFlow. And uh, yeah, definitely when the sun is out, we recharge and that really doesn't cost us anything. If we plugged the Delta Pro into the wall or recharged it via the grid, obviously there's a cost associated long term. So anytime we charge, we really try to charge with solar. I'll also add that we did not use solar during this test. We only used the four batteries, the two Delta Pros and the two extra batteries. I'll tell you, though, that might be a good test in the future to see how long we could actually power the home using the batteries and solar. That might be interesting. But for now, we're just recharging the dead ones. We're not going to use them. And the test is almost over. 43 and a half hours into the test now the reason why i'm doing this is you know sometimes by the time you get to the bottom of a battery it just goes quick so i'm not 100 percent sure so again as you can see we've only got one set powered which is the one on the right the one on the left is off and it's actually being recharged via solar might as well start the process while we have some free sun so here's what we're dealing with we've got six percent left on the delta 11% left on the battery. So we're powering really not much right now, 120 watts output. And, um, you know, again, on the app, you'll get the same story. Okay, so 120 watts on the output, you know, 6% of the battery. So we'll see. Now, this is being recharged via solar. And uh, we've got 400 watts coming in. And then it sends out 200 watts to the battery to charge the battery. So, really cool stuff. I'm glad I finally got around to doing this test. Okay, we've got 44 hours in now. 
All right, two o'clock would be 48 hours. Again, that's charging solar, but the sun went down. So this is the set we're using. And the app says that we've got about 31 minutes left. All right, so it says, let's see, we've got 3% on the Delta and 9% on the battery. So we'll see, we'll, maybe we'll get uh, 1030. We'll find out. All right, 44 and a half hours. We are really coming down to the final stretch. Now, you wanna know why? Well, we've got 1% battery life on the Delta and we've got 6% uh, on the battery, right? So, you know, the battery is feeding the Delta. So we're, we're powering the home at 200 and some odd watts, which is, you know, not bad, but we're receiving obviously some power from the battery. So 6% on the battery, 1% on the Delta. And this says we've got 15 minutes left I guess we'll keep an eye on it, but 44 and a half hours in, 44 and a half hours. Okay, I want to talk about some key differences between these three machines also to be helpful. Now, let me just talk about the Delta Pro first. Just know that the Delta Pro is a product that has so many more options. You know, I, I show you here on the screen that it has an EV charger. You know, it's got a 30 amp plug. It's compatible with the smart home panel, right? but there are more options, all right? Now, I will tell you weight-wise, you know, the Delta II, I believe, is like, I, I, I could be wrong, but I think it's like 30 pounds. It's really light. The Delta Max is about 48 pounds, and the Delta Pro is 100 pounds. It's 99 pounds, so it's something to think about. But let's go over power capabilities and battery life cycles. So the Delta Pro's got a lithium-iron phosphate battery, with 6,500 cycles, and then it goes to 50% plus. It is a 3,600 watt power station that surges to 7,200. Then you go to the Delta Max, it's got a lithium NCM battery. So it's got 800 cycles, and then it goes to 80% plus. And it supports 2,400 watts, and that's the Delta 2000, by the way, and it surges to 5,000. The Delta II, lithium iron phosphate, right? Really good battery, 3,000 cycles, and then it goes to 80%. That power station supports 1,800 watts with a 2,700 watt surge. And as you can see, the Max and the Delta II, they don't, they're do not they not smart home compatible. They don't have an EV charger. They don't have a 30 amp plug. I hope this information is helpful. Okay, we are 45 hours in. 45 hours. This thing is holding on. Now, again, that's not doing anything because it's supposed to be charging solar, but it's cloudy. So what do we got? We've got 1% on the Delta, powering 200 and change at the house level. And the battery is 3% sending, you know, 150 watts, um, you know, some power over to the Delta. Now, yeah, same thing, right? When you look at the app, 1% on the Delta and uh, three percent on the extra battery there so i guess we'll find out it says 17 minutes by the way uh but again that can fluctuate based on the load so let's find out well 46 hours in and this one percent left on the delta and one percent on the battery really i mean is just holding on we got about 300 and something watts being powered at the home. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here watching this screen with 1% battery and 1% of the Delta Pro. And I'm like, wow. So we're using 300 and something watts. We've been watching this 1% for a while. 46 hours in. Well, it's got to die at some point. We should be switching at this point. I'm seeing some activity. This thing is struggling at this point. Um, it It is 12.27 uh, p.m. Okay. And so, uh, yep. With the bare bottom of the battery, I'm going to go ahead and end the automation. So guys, 46 hours and 27 minutes. Not bad at all. 
So we got power switched back. If you look, the grid is now powering the home. All right, we're not gonna have total power used because the app is not perfect. 12.29, so we've got 46 hours and 27 minutes. The smart home panel with the Delta Pros and extra batteries. So what do you think? Put some comments in the comments section. All right. Well, I'm so glad I finally got to, to do this test. I've been wanting to do it for a while. 46 hours and 27 minutes. Not bad. Now, guys, I am disappointed that I really can't show you how many kilowatts was used. You know, the app really isn't that great. But I am actually glad to have the smart home panel. I've had it for a while now and uh, really enjoy using it. I have actually used it to reduce my energy costs from time to time. I charge these up with solar and then I reuse these, um, you know, to power the home from time to time. I've actually seen a lower electricity cost year over year. I don't do that too often, but I wanted to do that as a test. Hey, I hope this information was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed, take a moment, subscribe to our channel, become a member of our family, share our video with your friends, your family, as well as in your chat rooms if you'd like. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And guys, thanks so much. I really hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your time. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.